Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Global Hemp Group's channel. We're sitting here once again with Kurt. Kurt, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Good, good. Glad to see it. Glad to see you back on, of course. And I want to dive into this article here. People are talking about the U.S. hemp boom is over. What now? And I think it's important for people to understand that hemp as a plant is still very usable. It still has a lot of applications. And this is more so relating to people going after the CBD boom and such like that. Can you please provide your insight and wisdom on this? Sure. Uh, you know, there's no question that uh, obviously hemp, once it became legal in 2018, everybody jumped on the bandwagon. And at the time, really the only uh, viable sort of option or direction at the time was to uh, grow um, hemp for CBD or cannabinoid extraction. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's a very large segment of the market. Uh, but because of uh, not only current regulations, but everybody jumped in and, and suddenly there's a glut of material uh, out there and prices came crashing down and it kind of, you know, it, it brought the, the industry to a very different position than it was, um, say, back in 2019 or 2020. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the reality is, and as we've always said, like with our vision for Global Hemp Group, is that the industrial applications are by far going to be the largest component of the hemp industry. Yeah. Uh, there's just so many products that the hemp plant can be made into that um, the change of focus is really necessary. And now you can see it every day. There's articles coming out uh, about um, building materials, biocomposites, bioplastics, and, and sort of the wide range use of, and, and even, of course, uh, you know, fiber for textiles. Mm -hmm. and, and ultimately, what's going to happen is that the hemp plant is going to be uh, grown in the, um, uh, you know, dense crop kind of method, which basically is tall, skinny hemp plants, as yeah. opposed to the big bushy things that they do with the um, uh, orchard style growing for CBD uh, related uh, type material. Um, and you're going to, you're going to see m many more uses of the fiber because mm -hmm. it is the longest and strongest natural fiber uh, mm -hmm. out there. And uh, certainly many times stronger than cotton. And that's why it wears so much better, uh, even though it does need to, as they call it, cottonize. So you have to uh, find a way to soften it. There's, there's various processes to do that so that you can use it in textiles and it, it's, it's comfortable to wear as opposed to the scratchy kind of thing that you would uh, have if you don't treat it that way, right? Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, the fiber is going to be used in all sorts of different applications. And then what's left over is the inner woody core of the, uh, of the stock. And that's where they uh, make things like um, the hempcrete, which is for the walls in um, buildings. They've been um, uh, making uh, flooring out of it. They've been making, um, there was a company I was talking to that made some wooden cabinets out of it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they take the fiber, for example, and make insulative bats out of it and replace, say, fiberglass. So uh, you're going to see more and more of the hemp plant grown in the industrial or dense cropping style. And, um, and then it's a matter of processing it. Uh, they, uh, there's a process called decortication, which uh, separates the uh, fiber from the, the herd. And uh, then you can uh, make various value added products. Now, if you look at something like our, um, uh, our project in Colorado, initially we focus on the inner woody core, the herd, because that's uh, the building materials that we're going to use. But ultimately, there's so much more value in the fiber. And especially if you use uh, create value added products utilizing the fiber, uh, you will get um, much, much more value uh, per acre out of, the, uh, out of the hemp that you grow than, um, say, just growing it for uh, biomass at this point. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. Uh, basically, the, the cycle of hemp, it's just another cycle. It's another business cycle. And um, hemp is going to do fine. It's just going to continue evolving. It's got a lot of use cases that, that haven't even been implemented yet. And from here, it, it should be perfectly fine. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for some of these industries to be successful in terms of creating value-added products, you have to get to critical mass in terms of the production of the raw material. And we're nowhere near that at this point. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, for example, 
Um, Biocomposites are used by a number of auto manufacturers out of Europe. And the biggest problem is that uh, I think that a lot more auto manufacturers would go to using um, the biocomposites for door panels if there was a um, available supply of the material that is available all the time, you know, a, a yeah. solid supply chain um, in terms of availability. And that's, that's held back a lot of these industries at this point, uh, because Without the um, the supply chain, they tend not to be as cost effective, mm -hmm. and so uh, at the end of the day, all of these things come down to ec economics. And mm -hmm. is it is it economical to use this material in this particular application? Yeah, good point. Yep, and um, like you said, over time that will probably change. As you're you're right, we're nowhere near critical mass oh, right now. So. There's there's definitely yep. not a like not anywhere near in comparison to cotton or any other materials that we're using for things, a massive amount of hemp ready to go and industrialize and have hemp clothes absolutely everywhere with no issues at all. We're getting there, but we're just not quite there yet. So no guys, the, the hemp boom for this specific industry might be over CBD, maybe not be the thing anymore, but there's still plenty of applications for it. Absolutely. All right, Kurt. Well, thank you for coming on. Thanks for your wisdom and insight. And I hope you have a wonderful day and everyone keep watching. We'll get some more updates to you as soon as we can. Thanks for having me today.